What is up guys? Now I'm Narinj with the comic and right now I'm going to be doing something that I haven't seen be done on the YouTubes. Uh, now I don't know whether that's a good thing or whether that is a bad thing. Um, but we're gonna do it anyway. So this is BTS Blood, Sweat and Tears, okay? Now, I have listened to this song at least 99 times. So I'm calling this 100th reaction to BTS Blood, Sweat and Tears. Something like that along those lines is gonna be like that. This is gonna be my 100th time reacting to it. And this is also the first time that I'm watching a live performance of it. So I wanna see if they can actually sing this song live. So we're gonna see, let's get this, let's go. I've got the setup there at least. Okay. The set is similar. And... I don't know, is this. Is this the same dancers in the video as well? Oh shoot, I remember. See, it's been like two weeks, okay? I remember this as in so well. I think the fans are just chanting BTS. Okay, so they're singing, but there's a backing track as well. Okay, some of the stuff is really high. Again, these chocolate wings. Someone tell me what that means, because I have no idea. I don't think the choreography is the same as in the video. That's act ridiculous. I'm, I've never seen that before. In anything. I mean, I've never seen watched the live performance of theirs before. So, is this all of their live performances? Do they have the, the dance with the live performance every time and it's the same as in the video? I want to watch the dope one now. It's true. Oh, true. Whoa. See, this is what I mean, they dab it. Oh, whoa. The, again, the crotch levels in the, in this song, in this song are ridiculous. Like, like, grab the crotch again. Money. I think it is the same. I remember especially this one of them coming away. Oh my god, that guy was super sexual then. I'm not saying I mind it. Hey, hey, cute, cute mother trucker. And he's like purple hair. So. Great, great purple. Great. And the outfits are like. They're a bit like Italian, I don't know, like old Italian style maybe, I have no idea. Jeez, these guys are taking it, dude. Jeez, this, didn't notice that before. Yeah, there's, there's my guy there. Yeah, there's my guy as well. And, and there. Wow. I like a lot of them. Yeah! Again with the crotch movements. The thrusting. Jeez. Whoa, whoa, you need to stop. You need to stop, mate. That's too much. Honestly, I'm saying this. I'm saying this now. This stuff is going to take over the world. K-pop is going to become just mainstream as shit in, in the West. I'm telling you, like, the fact that they, they dance like that to their song, and they were singing. They weren't, like, singing full on, but they were still singing. It wasn't a full on backing track. It is freaking ridiculous. Like, I, I, I want to go watch the dope one. The boy, boy I want to watch all of them. I want to watch all of them. Like, we are bulletproof, if they did, a, did, a, they did a live version of, the version of that, I want to watch that as well. This is redonkulous. You know what, also, also, the amount of crotch movement in that dance was ridiculous. I think it's actually more than in the video, I'm not having that. I think they put more in this than the video. They catered to their live audience, that's what they did with that. I, I'm 100% sure. I'll say 99% sure, because I might be wrong. But, I also have one more question. In South Korea, I guess it's just South Korea, 
do, th do they grow a lot of facial hair or do they just shave it off all the time? Because like, all these guys are baby face as shit. Like, I got rid of my beard and I have a goatee right now. I'm a bit Doctor Strangey. I like it. Um, but I'm just not sure whether they actually grow any facial hair or not. Uh, or whether they're just hairless, like hairless cat on the face and on the body. I have no idea. Um, but this was, this was actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna do a 100 reaction to maybe dope or something because I want to see them do that live and see if they're singing as well because that would be ridiculous and I'm saying guys one day like I just heard of CL I don't know what band she was in 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 K-pop um, but she did a song called Lifted it was it was a bit of a rip off meth and meth man but meth and man but whatever you know it was okay it wasn't it was a good song um, and he gave his approval on it so what can I say if meth and man himself gave his approval so I think they're taking over the world. It's not a bad thing. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down here if you didn't. If you didn't, then you'll never see K-pop take over the West. And really, if you're watching this video, then you are a huge K-pop fan because you're watching any K-pop content. Uh, so you want to witness that. So just subscribe anyway. I've been Orange the Comic. You have been great, and I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.